our Wednesday webinar. Today you're gonna see how to build, how to plan step-by-step -step, uh, such a media wall unit. So you see also the setting of construction as well as the shaker doors. And also here, like you see here, frame doors with glass. So, and when you have any questions, you can write in the chat. I will always keep an eye on it. So, all right, let's start a new project. So we click here on file and we don't wanna save this now. We start a new project and we click on the red eye and you click here on touch areas that we can let appear the smart clicks and the measurements because it's important. So, First of all, you see here the row of holes. We can also turn them off when we don't want to have them. We just click here to interior adjustable shelves. And here we set it to groups of holes. And then they are just appearing when we have here five holes, um, when we add an adjustable shelf you will see later on. All right, so then let's start. First of all, we type in the measurements, yeah? So that means you just click here on the measurement for the height, type in 700 mil and confirm it with enter. The same with the width. Yeah, the width here is 3000. So and we have 3000. So in this case, we have five areas and it means we need to have, click here on division, we need to have four verticals. Yeah, we drag it and drop it in here. So you see they are related in relation one to one to one to each other. And the middle area should be bigger. So that means we click on here. And you see here all numbers from 1 to 9 are relation numbers. And when we type in here 700 mil and confirm it with enter, the other ones are adapting. All right. And here we want to have one horizontal in the middle. So then for the next step, you click here on the front tab and you can choose your three drawers. And here you can also choose the hardware for the drawer and then you just drag it and drop it in here. So you can do this here for all of them. So, and here in the bottom area, there should be a double door. And we want to have here, the edge should be here on the same level of this. So now we can use the measurement function. Therefore, you keep the control button on your keyboard uh, pressed. So you find it on the left bottom corner. You keep press the control button and then you go with the mouse here in the edge and you see the point is appearing. Yeah, the X, Y, Z value. And you just click on it with your left mouse button. Then it turns to green and we wanna have this here as well, yeah. So then um, the measurements are popping up. You see here the measurements to the point X, Y, and Z. And we now here, you see the coordinate system and we wanna have the difference in Z direction. Yeah, it's here in this case, 90.5. So you can confirm it with enter and we need to 
bring it up here, um, 90.5 mil more. So that means you click here on a green smart click for the bottom middle area. Yeah, you see here also you see the measurements for this area and you click here on hide. And then you can also use uh, here the equal signs and you can calculate 273 plus 90.5 and confirm it with enter. And then you see here it's on the same level, yeah? So that's how we want to have it. All right. And then we want to have for the fronts the shaker doors. And therefore, you just make a sick here. You're on the front tab on frame. So that means we have here frame doors, but they are five piece frame doors. Yeah, and when you click now here on any smart leg for the front, so just any red smart leg, and then you click here in settings, then you see here the settings for the front is opening, and here you can uh, set up the front. So, and we need to go down here, you see all options available, and we want to have here a front with frame, number one. Here you can choose the width of frame, it's 55. From this enter or so that we don't need overlap filling, we don't need. So that is important here, type of frame, yeah. Number seven, you see it's here the shaker door. That is how we want to have it. Just click on save. And you see it's adapting here, yeah? So you can also change the handle if you want. So you just click here on front, vertical, and swap it to a knob, and then you see it like this. All right, then we are pretty much done for the bottom part. Last but not least, you can click here on the material tab and here choose um, another material. Yeah. And you can also use here the parts of the material group. And we have four parts. One part is here all horizontals and verticals. Another part is are the fronts here and the back is also an extra part. group part here. Yeah? So then we are done with the bottom cabinet and here on top there should be a, a the cabinet on top, the second one. You click here to cabinet, and here cabinet again, and here you type in the width of it. Yeah, the width of it should be the same, 3000 mil. The height should be 1600, and the depth should be 300. So the easiest way, to bring it in this project is you just drag it from here to the smart leg. Yeah, when you click on here, you need to have your mouse directly on this red smart leg. And then you see it's straight here. So, and to work Further, you can also click on a red eye and draw the room and click here again. Then the room gets off and just here the activated cabinet is visible. Yeah, then we have it. It's easier for us to plan with it. 
So in this case, we don't need the blinds here. So we just click beneath cabinet and choose no blinds. Yeah. So, and then you can continue. Just go to a division and here you can add two verticals. And here for the middle, you want to have a horizontal. So now we can check again, click here, because um, this should be here on the same. Yeah, so we need to change here the measurement to 548. So we let this appear, the bottom one, and we type in, click on the measurement, width of area, you see they are related in relation one to one to each other, and you type in 548 and confirm it with enter. You see the other ones are adapting, and you want to have it here on the right side the same, 548, confirm with enter. So, and here's the middle top part. The height should be here. Click on the smart click. The height should be here 300. All right. So, and another thing is you see here the board is, bottom board is going through. Yeah, we don't want to have this because we don't need the bottom panel. So you click, uh, can click here on this smart click in the middle. And here you can click vertical passing through bottom. Yeah, now the vertical is passing through bottom. You see it. And you can here click on the smart click on the edge. And here you can delete the bottom panel. Yeah, that is important because this panel is still going through. When you click here again and you would be the horizontal passing, then you would have here a gap, like you've seen, yeah? So that's why it's important to let the vertical passing through. So, then this is done as well. And we can continue with the division. We want to have here two more verticals here in the top middle part. So and we want to change here the width of the middle part. And it should be when you click on here, can change here the width. It should be here the relation one to two to one to each other. So just type in two and confirm it with enter. And then it's adapting. Right. And the next step is here for the parts. Outside, we want to have two shelves, two glass shelves. Yeah. Therefore, you click here on the interior tab and here adjustable shelves. We want to have two. Yeah. And here you can also click, I show it now here, group of holes. And then you see that are disappearing. And now we type in, we want to have five holes for a shelf. Yeah, and when you drag and drop now two shelves here in this area, you see the holes are appearing. And the relation should be here, the areas should be related to three to one to one to each other. So you see the adjustable shelves have uh, this smart click. Click on it and here on height, type in number three, and then it's related. 
one two one two three to each other. So for the right area, the same. Just drag it and drop it in here. Click here on the top smart click. Change the height to three. And then that's fine. All right. So the next step is the front. We click here to front. And we want to have here a left and a right door. First of all, the left door. And on the right side, the right door. So, and the door should be also a frame door. So it means you make a thick on frame again. And now we need to change the material. So that's why you click here on the material tab and the frame should be the same. Like this and the back as well. So, and then you can remove the thick because now we want to have glass, yeah? So you can here also filter for glass and then you just drag the glass here and you see it's glass and here for inside we need to open the front to make the front visible and here you can also drag and drop the glass on here and then you see you have also glass shelves yeah is it clear so far or are there any questions when there are questions just let me know yeah so but for now you see it's um, visible and you can click here on the red eye and it looks nice like this and when you click here on the to draw the room then you can see the whole project and you can here remove the smart legs and the measurements and you see nice here the shaker doors you can also click here to change the view and now we are done with planning and for the next step you can click here on data export to get the cutting list enjoyed it and when you need any help, you can here also click on the help tab and here on free tutorial. So then the browser is popping up and here when you click on starter webinars, uh, it will be uploaded here. Yeah, you see here the last projects. Yeah, from the lab, from the past weeks here you see the 2D workshop drawing, individual free forms, prices and calculation. You see they are uploaded here and you're welcome to watch it again after it's uploaded. Yeah. So have fun and I'm looking forward to see you next time. So take care. Bye-bye and thank you for watching. Bye.